the huge runaway popularity of those GLP-1 weight loss drugs is taking a turn that maybe we all should have expected and yet we can still be a little bit embarrassed about. Researchers are right now testing those drugs. This is a real major scientific clinical trial to see if those same drugs can help pets lose weight. National consumer correspondent Usher Qureshi has graciously agreed to take a look at how these implants may soon help get America's fat cats and dogs to slim down. We're just going to let him break it. <laughs> Savannah Tilking's 10-year-old cat, Runkle, is sweet, sassy, and loves to eat. How much does Runkle weigh? Um, he, last time I weighed him, he weighed 21 pounds. And he doesn't love anything involving physical activity. He spends most of his days sleeping. He's so a lounger. He's a lounger. And Runkle is far from alone. Experts say roughly 6 in 10 cats in the U.S. are carrying too much weight. In veterinary medicine for the last 100 years, the only prescription we had was feed less, exercise more. And that just doesn't work for all types of obesity. Dr. Ernie Ward, a top pet obesity expert, says vets may be entering a new frontier using GLP-1 drugs like Ozempic to treat obese cats. San Francisco-based Okava Pharmaceuticals just launched Meow One, a clinical study that will utilize a tiny under-the-skin implant in 50 cats to release a GLP-1 medication drug over six months. Dr. Ward says the benefits could go well beyond weight loss, pointing to human data that shows improvement in diabetes risk and long-term health. And that's why we're so excited, because when we look at, especially in cats, one of the biggest health threats is obesity and then diabetes. And what's the biggest unknown that still keeps you cautious? The first, of course, is efficacy. Does it work safely? The second are the side effects. And then the third is the cost. Okava says it's aiming for about $100 a month. Results from the Meow One trial are expected next summer, with the company seeking FDA approval for cat use in the next two years, with dogs not far behind. So I think that if my vet came to me and was like, he's diabetic, we've tried everything else, we should consider that, then most definitely. If it works, chunky cats like Runkle could get their own Ozempet moment. For CBS Mornings, I'm Usher Qureshi. Uh, oh, man. I like know. that cat, Nate? Was yeah, it? just chilling, just, one hand in it. <laughs> it, it kind of makes sense to me, though, because when they say eat less, exercise more, it doesn't work for humans a lot of times. Yeah. You see why it clearly doesn't work for the animals, if they can do it, because you'll live a longer, healthier life. Yeah, but the problem with humans, as I know well, is I can buy my own food, so I just keep feeding myself. <laughs> yeah. we, we feed the cats. That is true. So that can't is we true. just feed them less? That well, listen, true. let me talk to the viewers. Give me my camera. Hey, go grab your cats and dogs. I want to talk directly to them. I basically told them that you're just <laughs> fine the way you are, okay? Don't let your owners change you. It's up to you yes. if you want to be chunky. Yes. We love you the way you are. Yes, no body shaming here. Right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Dr. Doolittle is what they call me. So okay, there you talking go. Talking directly to